Okay, this is our brief tutorial on the McCandless method for lighting the stage. As we've talked about in class, um, that wants to be 45 degrees up and 45 degrees out, roughly. So I'm in my laughter on the 23rd floor drawing. Uh, I've got my set in here and uh, my focus points. And so now I just need to start determining where I'm going to uh, place these fixtures, where it's going to work best for me. So if I activate the line tool and go to area A, and I take it out at a 45 degree angle, we'll see that there's really not a good position out here other than the uh, box boom two stage, uh, box, box boom two stage left. Um, and so that's at a 52 degree angle. That's not bad. Um, that's definitely plenty of uh, front front light that's going to wrap around um, the face so we're going to say that's pretty good and for letter B if I go to 45 degree angle well I basically get to the same point so I'm probably going to put that one on that box boom as well which is pretty much going to fill that box boom there's really only about enough room for two fixtures uh, on those pipes so then for area C I'm going to come here, and if I come out here, eh, it's 60 degrees. That's not optimal, but it's not bad. It's probably going to work. We've got a box set comedy. Uh, there's not going to need to be a whole lot of isolation, so I think that that's going to work just fine. Uh, for area D, at a 45 degree angle, uh, it's going to be almost right on top of. Actually, it's going to miss completely, so yeah, we're going to keep that at closer to that angle and just so that we're maintaining the same angle like we want to do for systems so again it's not perfect it's never going to be because we're dealing with architecture and physics but that's going to give us a pretty good uh, front light wash for uh, for those fixtures uh, and so for the other color remember we're doing a warm and a cool so I might make this my warm and that's so that's something like an R33 or an RO2 <clears throat> and then I need something for a cool system that's going to be something like an R60, um, maybe a Lee 202, um, maybe a Lee 161, something, uh, something like that. Uh, but I know roughly where I'm going to think I'm going to place those fixtures. Um, to make sure that I'm work, I've got it uh, at roughly a 45 degree angle as well. Um, going up, I need to look at my section view. So I've got our section view open here as well. And we're going to see that from the uh, front, uh, front of house truss number two, eh, it's a little shallower than 45 degrees uh, to, the, uh, to the front of the stage there. But it's, it's looking pretty good. I'm just going to duplicate our guy here and slide a version of him down where that downstage area is. And I'm going to put another one up. Here, let's just zoom in and grab his foot up on the platform. Oops. There we go. So that's basically the three lanes that we've got in this set. And so I'm going to look at here and I'm going to go there, I think, with that first uh, for that first lane. I'm going to maintain a similar angle, go there. The substage one's going to be a little bit steeper, but I think it's going to be all right. Uh, it'll fill, uh, it'll fill in everything else, and uh, and be just fine. So I think that that's going to work well uh, in terms of selecting our fixtures. Remember, we're basically using the Pythagorean theorem here, so I need to figure out uh, what our distance is going to be. So I'm going to grab the non-constrained uh, linear dimension tool, and I'm going to find our dimension from area C to roughly where I'm going to hang it. And it's telling me that's 39 th uh, feet 3 inches. For the sake of the math, we'll call that 40 feet. That's pretty close. Uh, and then we need to know the height. So we will once again select our dimension tool and figure out how high off the stage this is. And that's about 
30 feet. So we're looking at about 30 feet and 40 feet. So if I go to my calculator and I say 30 squared is 900, great. 40 squared is 1600 plus 900 equals 2500 and the square root of that is 50. I have roughly a 50 foot throw distance um, for that fixture. So then I can go to my photometrics chart that I downloaded from Canvas and at 50 feet I'll pull down here and say you know a 14 degree is going to give me about a, 30, a 13 foot circle of light which is a little bit big but again it's box set comedy and I want plenty of blend and I'm not going to need a lot of isolation so that's probably going to be a pretty good choice. I can also look at it in terms of our backlight. Remember backlight wants to be at 60 degrees so <clears throat> uh, at a 60 degree angle yeah that's pretty uh, pretty good. If I just duplicate that and move it to the number three electric Yep, that's pretty good. And number four, that looks like that's going to work out reasonably well uh, all around. Get rid of those, and I'll go back to our non-constrained dimension and discover that our throw distance here is eh, right about 20 feet uh, for our backlight. So going back to our photometrics chart, uh, at 20 feet, a source for medium flood PAR is going to give me a 7 by 13 foot pool of light. Well, if I have a horizontal bottle, that 13 feet is about the same as the 13 feet I'm getting out of my 14 degree from the front light. So that pool, those pools of light are going to be relatively similar and I'm going to have a pretty good blend. So those seem like reasonably good choices. So coming back to my ground plan, I can just start plugging in my lights. I've decided these are going to go from the box boom here and here. C is going to come to the front of house truss. D is going to come from the front of house truss. E is going to come from the front of house truss. We'll do that from both directions. And then I'll work out the same thing for this center uh, lane of areas. And again, for the upstage lane up on the platform. So hopefully that helps a little bit in terms of sorting all of this out. Uh, and I will be putting up another video that talks about section views.